we have dates here okay mm -hmm. proper date format we have some text here and we have some number values in decimal positions okay the number value i have used a formula here this is a formula it automatically refresh the values okay so the value will be keep changing in between that so basically mm -hmm. our task is that we want to paste the values only not the formula okay let us do it when i copy it and want to paste it here so i will right click on the cell where i want to paste so we have option here in paste special or we have option in home tab under paste paste special okay so we get this type of dialog box here usually we use values for this purpose to remove formula and paste the values only so we do like this but here you can see my date format is disturbed it is showing some numbers here and the decimal places are gone okay we want to paste as value but we want to preserve the number format okay. so how do we do we just copy it from here we go under paste special under paste special instead of using this value only we will use value and number formats okay when we use value and number format this will remove a formula here as you can see there is no formula and the date format is already okay okay so we use it but there is one more problem that uh, column settings when we are going to paste any uh, data so the column settings are different with that two data okay so column setting i want to make it like this one first one so what we do we can use this column width also i select column width and press okay the column settings will be like the its parent table okay yeah okay, yeah yeah then we have a now, how come the um, oh sorry how come the um, sales for pradeep is different than the sales like for pradeep pradeep the sales is 331 and the other one is pradeep 25 Correct, correct, correct. Uh, I just earlier told you there there is a formula called rand between. Okay, this formula, if we put two values, the between values it randomizes generates. Okay, by random generation, it will generate the between value of ten to ninety randomly. and when you type anything it will be keep changing until there oh, okay. is a formula it will be keep changing okay but when you paste it there is no formula when you that's why it is not changing it is different okay oh i see okay uh, now we have another one option here yeah. all except border except border borders every everything will be paste here okay and we have another one option here in paste special all using source see it is of no use for you because we don't use themes under excel we use themes in powerpoint okay we don't use themes here in page layout we have themes in excel but we never use it okay. 
when we the excel paste some values when we directly copy paste so it pastes the, all the values uh, to the targeted cell but in paste special we can choose the part of values like formulas values formats comments and validation okay so so uh, Yes. Oh, sorry. Yes. So, um, the date is considered number formats. Correct. Why it is considered okay. number format? Not the date only, text also and this numbers also. In under home tab, you have this group number. Okay. And then, when you open the format cell dialog box with control 1 or this arrow option, there is a number tab. So these settings are called number formatting. It is under formatting. Mm -hmm. and these are numbers. Okay. Number currency, date, accounting, time, percentage, text, everything is considered as number. A number, okay. Uh, so in uh, there is decimal place, it is everything. It is called number formatting. Okay. Not just the cell color font font size, font, this is considered. When we want to copy the full format, only the format, so we can use this special, like this. copy only the format, only the formats will be copied. If I copy formats here, I can easily format the data within one or two seconds. And let's move on. So basically when you uh, yes, yes. So when you say when you copy the format, that means you're copying the date is the date format, the name is the text format, and the sales is the number format. See there are yeah. two types which I have shown you. One is number formatting, which were uh, preserving the decimal points and the proper date format. And one is whole formatting, which is pre preserving everything, cell color, font size, everything. Okay. And the number formatting also. Number formatting is the part of formats. Okay. So in Excel, we have separation of them. And suppose we want to use number formatting only with values. We don't want the cell color and the whole font font size. This we don't want to affect. So we use this number formatting. Values and number format. And we when oh, okay. we proper all the formats then we use formats. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, I see what I said. Hmm. Let's suppose you are dealing with comments and uh, some of the comments you have typed type there and the same comments you want to use anywhere else. Like here is no comment. So what people do, they right, they right click there, they right click there and go to edit comments, then copy this, then go here and insert comment and then paste it. So there is a shortcut when you want to paste only the comment. So just copy that cell, go to paste special and paste comment here. So your comments will be copied here. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. The same case with validation. You know validation, what are the validations? Like sometimes we use a list here. Yeah. We want to restrict user to the entries. We don't want that user should enter any other data. Okay. It will generate a value. So we have a list and when we click, so the value between of the list will be supplied here. Okay. 
so this is called validation so in validation is a complicated procedure for applying let's suppose i want to apply the validation you have to go to any data and there is a method data validation so you go in data validation and apply list here and type the list or select the list Okay. when you apply by this way you apply that but if you want to apply the same validation any other anywhere else so you just copy it suppose i want to apply validation in this area so i will go to paste special and i can paste validation this cell i have validation you can see the list here okay this is clear okay yes yes sir okay then let us take a, another example for additional task let's suppose we have collected some sales figures of the person from any collection slips or after that i found some more collection slips of some employees so then the sale will be increased there so one guy has typed that increase slip in the second in this third column c column that there should be more 20 here yeah. there should be more 12 here yeah. like this now let us consider we have a large list because in a small we can do it manually very easily with a formula we use formula for that if we have big list what we will do we will just plus the both values with the help of formula and then drag it and then copy it and then go to paste as values mostly people do like this Yes or no? Okay, yeah, it's pretty convenient. Hmm. So you have some another shortcut for that for the same thing? Any short method for that? Do you have shortcuts? Not shortcuts, nor uh, any short method for this. let's say i am applying for formula first dragging them then copying the formula and paste here the values for this task so any short method from this i think that's a pretty standard way of doing it huh the the way you just describe it i think that's pretty much how most people do it yes 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 you are right but when we are going to paste so we can look in our paste special also just copy the data go to paste special we have some uh, a tab here operation okay in operation we can we cannot just paste the values we can do some calculation over here also let's say we the task is uh, a uh, task is adding the value so we choose add we have copied the data we choose add select the data where it is going to paste and see the difference there is 32 there is 20 and when i'm going to press okay the calculation done okay oh okay interesting i don't know you can do that Yes, most of the people, even ninety-nine percent of people don't know that. Uh, in my case, hundred percent. I have never seen a person who already know this. Okay, even when I learned, I also don't know this. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let us consider another case. Uh, let's say that guy who was keeping this values 
he has put the original values here that no it is the 52 is wrong the 65 is the original value here like that 48 is the original value here so we have now original values so now the question is we don't want to add now we have to replace the values okay so while replacing what the mostly people do if they are good at formula they will apply a if condition here for picking the values if p2 is uh, equal to blank then the value should be this one b2 otherwise c2 like this people apply and this formula works and then that copy paste values like this they do okay but we have okay, yeah. uh, but the person who do have good formula uh, good understanding of formula but we don't have we just copy it go to paste special but before that why we don't copy the values directly here for replacing because when we copy the values directly here the blank cells uh, which are not containing values will be copied at the target destination okay so somehow if we are able to stop this that blank value should not be copied there so our purpose will be solved okay so we have option like this here we have skip blanks that will skip the blanks values now let's see 5265 when i press ok 65 the original values remain here and the replacement is done okay understood this one is it clear sir hello okay, yeah 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 okay yeah sort of uh, is it clear sir now let's take another example let us say we have some sales figures and we have a target also so we want to know the achievement percentage for that people put formula also okay but we can do it with paste special also how see while uh, evaluating the achievement percentage we use divide method and then convert it to percentage so when we are going to divide we can directly divide with our paste special just copy the target value before that I just paste this sales value in achievement so I am just copying the target value selecting the achievement here and then go to paste special here we have divide in operation term. When we divide the value will be divided with no address. And when we press this sign percentage it will be converted as percentage. Now we have achievement percentage of every person. Okay. How do you change it to percentage? There is a sign here sir in number formatting in this number group yeah. uh, or, oh, I see. Okay. Uh, or you can do control shift 5 to change in percentage like this we have 0 0.2 if I want to convert into percentage I will press control yeah. shift 5 it will be changed to percentage okay that's handy okay. So, let us take a practical scenario because 
the target cannot be same for any employee because someone are taking higher salary or are taking lesser salary the target will be different for everyone okay now in this case also we have to do the same just copy the sales value here copy the target value select the achievement percentage value or use divide use divide it will be divided and converted to percentage in this case was what happened the 47 get divided by 240 62 get divided by 181 when you choose the similar value to the targeted data like we have 10 values here or 10 values here so each of the value will be divided or uh, calculated by its uh, symmetrical value okay and this symmetry contains uh let's suppose we take another example here we have three days sales here and three days different different targets here okay so what we have to do we can do like this also we have three columns and some uh eight eight rows here so the target is also same here So we just copy here and doing the same. Each of the value will be divided by its related value. Okay. The condition is it should be in some symmetrical order. Okay. Forty-seven will be divided by two zero three. Sixty-two will one fifty-two. Twenty-one with two one three. Like this. And go down to consultant. Yeah. Now see what I am doing. The everything which I am doing is in with two or three seconds maximum. But if the person don't know about this method, this task take a huge time. Let's take one more scenario. Now we have. Whole year sale, whole year sale for every employee. There are some different different years here. Now we want to convert the values in crore, or you can say million, billion, whatever you want to convert, like six six point five million, six point five billion. So point. So putting decimals here, we need to divide the values. Let's say I want to uh, convert decimal for thousand, so I will divide by thousand. So like that, we use crore. So I just copy it, select the data, or to paste a special and divide, like financial statements we have. So the value will be divided, and we got the result that six point zero six point three. This value is in crore, like million, like billion. You can do with your example also, because we have one and seven zeros. In million, we have one and six zeros. Like this. So let's say we sometimes use formula. it is a formula for total for calculating these values okay i don't want to change uh, the actual values in crores i want to change the total value only in crores but we have a formula we don't want to lose the formula okay whatever formula is here it should be here but it should be display in crore how we will do we will do the same here also with formula so we just have to do the same thing nothing extra 
you can see the difference there is formula amendment here with that value okay every cell has changed its formula within seconds there is no other way to do that okay because these financial statements if you go in large company are very huge and each total is uh, linked to another total and formula okay so these are options with divide only so likewise we have some subtract option and multiply option we can use as per our requirement when we have to then transpose you may be knowing why when we use transpose we copy the data and we want to change the orientation of the data like horizontal to vertical vertical to horizontal to go to paste is special and we have transpose so your data will be change horizontal to vertical vertical to horizontal when you copy this one this data and paste it here with the help of transpose it will change the orientation okay very interesting then we have you might have used the link what is the benefit of link let's say how to do it we press equal to when select the cell which we want to link okay in this case whatever we do here it will be you can see here the changes because this value is linked it is a formula which gets the link and this cells value this reference value so we have to put the link of all this data so we will whatever we do we drag that this link and all the values will be here okay now we know how to copy the formats so we just copy and go to format and apply the formats okay a column width also now we have linked value here this is a linked table so when i change some data so you can change uh, you can see the immediate changes here also okay this is linking is done but let's suppose this is a small piece of data we know where till when we have to drag if you are linking 100 rows and, and more than 50 60 columns then you have to count every time that how much i have dragged there because if you drag more than its limits then it gives you some other values okay so we don't need we don't want to do it and it will consume more time also so what is the shortest method for doing that you just copy it whatever you want to link go to here paste special and there is a button paste link directly it will be pasted the same you copy as a link you can see the formula here okay now apply formats apply column width so we have a ready link here within seconds okay we don't need to format everything we it is already here okay so on um other question um so i i saw you how you copied it huh. but where do you set the link where do you set the link on there uh paste link sir this button in paste oh paste link okay i see okay okay so 
nowadays we are we are using the concepts of dashboards you know dashboard you have heard about dashboards yes so what happens just um, oh sorry yeah i think it's just so, i want to get information fast isn't it assembly of information correct uh, the exact meaning of that assembly of information but this linking is done there okay but uh, sometimes what we have to do in dashboard we have to present all the company's data in one page so we have a space problem there because excel you know when you change the size of any row and column it will disturb all the data so it is difficult to arrange the data there yes so let's say i have this much of area as i have highlighted here with an another color i have i have this much of area and want i want to show this much of data there okay how i will show what we do we just copy this copy the data go here in this home tab paste button down there do you have as picture okay as okay yeah and you have two options here copy as picture paste as picture you can copy as picture before there and our we have already copied the data so paste as picture okay so we have a picture now of the data and you know the picture size can be adjusted okay as per your size requirement okay but when we when i am talking about this uh, linking and then why i am showing you a picture because it is not linked if we change any data here then it doesn't change the value because it's a picture so what we do for that we have a solution you just copy this and instead of uh, choosing paste as picture choose that paste picture link now this is something good if i change the value here you can see the immediate effect there okay not only the value changes if i change the color of this you can see that color changes also there and being a picture it can be adjusted to any of the size okay no oh, okay well sandy so this is all about copy and paste in excel okay hmm what's that yeah yeah so Oh, I didn't know it was that powerful. You can do so many things just just with copy and paste. Correct, correct, correct. So, uh, as a part of the demo, this was your first class mostly. Uh, um, we, we, I have three demos for you. I am I, mean, I can give you full class here. Okay. So let's, okay, sure. Thank you. Let's go ahead. Uh, I will be giving classes. for two hours and uh next week till next week you have a time for fee submission okay so uh let's know about some settings of excel okay uh before that i want to take just 5 minute break okay then we we'll okay sure okay Let's be on. Right. Thank you, Sandeep. Ah, let's be online. I just come in five minutes. Okay. Okay. Thanks.
Okay, let's start. Okay. So we are going to study some interesting topic I have shown you earlier, the paste special. Now we have to study some troubleshooting problem of Excel. It may be quite boring, but it is very important for you to know for being an Excel champion. Okay. Okay. So if you get lazy, just let me know. We will do some other thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So before that, I uh, want to show you some how to use shortcuts in Excel. Okay. I just use this other sheet. Let's suppose you may be using shortcuts, but let us know what is the basic fund of shortcuts here. So if you want to shortcut of any other option, just take your mouse there and it will tell you the sh uh, shortcut in a screen tip. Let's say for copy there is control C. As you can see, there is a screen tip. Mm -hmm. Control X. So some of the uh, shortcuts are listed here. Like for percentage. Okay. For currency symbol. It is not showing. Some of the features doesn't have shortcuts listed. But how we identify? Let's say I want to do this. I want to apply border area. Okay. Then how will I do it? I just select this another area. And I will press Alt button from my keyboard. Alt button we have now. When we press Alt button, you can see there are some keywords appearing on the top of the ribbons. Okay. Like for home there is H, for insert there is N, for page layout there is P. You can see that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we want to apply borders. 
so we need to go to in home tab so these keywords are basically your keys you have to press once we press alt leave it then we press h for going into home tab home ribbon so we can see after pressing this h i have some more keywords for every option okay for borders mm -hmm. we have b so we press b from keyboard and we want to apply which one all borders so all borders have a a keyword we press a and it is applied so what is the shortcut key for that alt h b a okay you understood how we do it so you, did you just say did you ask a question yes 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 i i want to say that uh, do you understand uh, how i have done it yeah yeah you press the o and then later the um the alphabets come on and then you just press the um you just choose the alphabets to to do what you wanted to do yes 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 so uh, let's take one another example i want to merge in center here merge in center so what I, what we will do select the area and press alt and for home tab we press h and for merge in center there is appearing m and for merge in center there is c so the shortcut is alt hmc so i request you to put your mouse aside for some time and practice in your office time like this after one or two times using this you will be habitual of these shortcuts okay okay but that's a lot of shortcuts uh, you, you you want us to practice the ones that um the mo the most that we use or was there's that's a lot of options there and that's why i am uh, telling you that trick that uh, whatever you do in office if you have some time just keep aside mm -hmm. your mouse and uh, try using the, with this alt button so most of the time oh to to do whatever whatever function we use the most ah yes yes so what happens okay. the function you use mostly will be mm -hmm. available with you in shortcuts also so you will never use mouse for that and you will be learning shortcuts so quickly okay oh i see okay yeah yeah that's a good idea mm -hmm. so there is one another type of shortcuts here because this is how we deal with ribbons okay but one more uh, we use this dialog boxes okay this type of dialog boxes in pivot table we have format cell we have data validation we have conditional formatting everywhere we have these kind of dialog boxes okay this types of forms mm -hmm. so how will we deal with that so if there is a tab there is a tab then you can use you can press control key and keep pressed that control key and press tab one by one so you will be shifting to one to another tab okay yeah let's say you want to reverse this then keep pressed control and shift together and press tab one by one so it will do in reverse order okay mm -hmm. okay control shift you said yes control shift tab tab okay tab uh, tab one by one will be pressed okay then for accessing these options you have how to access this 
you have an underlined characters for every option like this wrap text wrap text have w underlined you can see that mm -hmm. yeah in shrink to fit you have k underlined and in merge cells you have m underlined okay in every option mm -hmm. you will find the underlined character so what we have to do here we have to press alt key here but the alt key here will be pressed okay it will not be released and press the underlined character let's suppose if i want to use this wrap text option so i'll be pressed this alt key and press w with it okay so wrap text is activated now let's suppose i want to change this horizontal alignment in left so h is the underlined character here i will press alt h this list will be open you can use your arrow keys for navigating up and down but if you don't want to do it just press the first character like i want to use the left indent so i will press l okay let's suppose for center we have two choices here center and center across selection so when we press c one by one it will be toggled between of that two okay okay yeah okay so we want what we want to do we want to choose the left so i will press l and for selecting the value we press enter in list okay we press enter then we have to do okay for okay <laughs> there is a green area around okay button mm -hmm. and this button is activated on enter enter key when you press enter it will press okay okay and if you want to cancel this just escape it will exit without applying the options press escape you will okay mm -hmm. so that's how we deal dialog boxes and one more thing if you are already this is a highlighted area here alignment if you press tab only it will be switching between all the options okay okay with the help of tab so these are the shortcuts we use for dialog boxes okay like mm. we have with alt key we go in office button there is f for print preview we have w here w print preview we have v here v so print preview then we have this page setup dialog box how we press alt and it is showing for print preview p sp sp for page setup sp we are putting so this we have this dialog box we want to set it to landscape l is the underlined character here so i press l and i want to do fit to one so i will press alt f and okay is activated on enter so i will press enter so this will be changed in landscape and fit to one and from escape i can go outside okay so with the help of shortcut like f w view alt s p and i have to change back it to portrait adjust to 100% and okay and escape out sir hi sir there hello hi uh am i audible yeah yeah i can hear you yeah it was just a, a temporary loss of connection but it, it was restored now okay okay you lost the connection so i was saying that we have print preview and we can quickly use dialog boxes landscape fit to one press enter with okay and escape for us okay we can quickly do the things with shortcuts 
if you yeah. are work when people see doing with your keyboard they will treat you as a genius in excel <laughs> because people see <laughs> on excel if you don't know anything you know shortcuts only you will be a champion like treated as a champion like that oh, okay i see yeah, yeah. But those are pretty handy. I, I I could see like um I know when I um uh, do the coding I put the um um O F eleven and okay. that one's pretty useful. Uh Alt F eleven, Alt I M and we you code coding here. Yeah, yeah. Uh there's that uh, there's sometimes it's it just because I, I I I just gotten used to it, so I just just do it. Like um, so, I, like I I learned that if you do anything that's very frequent, it's worthwhile to learn the shortcut. Yes, 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 yes. So I have told you lot of shortcuts here. And one more thing, if you want to get a list of shortcuts, so Excel help is available with everything. Just press F one. F one, okay. F one. And keyboard shortcut. You have Excel shortcut and function key. So mm -hmm. you have full list of shortcuts here with your Control Shift keys and everything. Okay. Okay. Wow. So full list uh, is available here. Yeah. One more thing. There are. Windows version is also changed in past years, so we are not mm -hmm. also updated with the Windows shortcuts. There are lot of Windows new shortcuts also instead of Windows D only. Okay, we use for so you referring to the Windows 8? Huh? Are you referring to Windows 8? Ah, uh, you are in. No, no, I, uh, I am with Windows 7. I am using Windows 7. 7, okay. Okay. Same. Because I'm, I'm, I'm using Windows 7 too. Okay, okay, okay. So when you press, uh, just take a list out of window here also. Press F1 on your desktop. Yeah. Yeah. You will get that shortcut, uh, that help dialog box here. Okay. And same you type keyboard shortcut so we have keyboard shortcuts here and we yeah. have different type of shortcuts also here like keyboard shortcuts which we are using here general keyboard shortcuts so we have a whole list here also for windows for windows okay. and for dialog box which i have told you Control tab, control shift tab, tab, shift tab, alt underline character. Like this mm -hmm. window. Window logo key shortcut. So we have a a huge list of window logo key shortcuts. Most people use this one only. But they are there are a yeah. lot of more things. Okay. So you have a list now. And more about Excel. Okay, yeah. Just press F1 once again. Type limits. Excel specification and limits. Before starting Excel, you have to know that what are the limit of Excel. What you can do with Excel and what you cannot. Okay. Because if you go into an interview and the people don't know about excel they ask you silly questions that how many rows are in excel how many columns are in excel so this information and more than that you can get here in excel specification and limits okay so such as worksheet size unique cell formats characters in header and footers so you have some specification here filter drop down list you know that we use only 10,000 character 10,000 uh, words in our filter drop down 
more than that it will not be accessible if you have more than 10,000 values in your filter it will not be accessible okay so we have limits we need to know the limits also with the date like before 1st January 1900 we can't use the date okay like that we have some useful information nested level of function that we use big formulas that how much we can use the formula up to 64 formulas 64 nested formula we can use okay so there are some uh, specification here for charts for pivot table for everything if you are doing with excel you are not going to change the limits but if you are using VBA so you don't have idea about limits because you are doing everything with coding and coding doesn't have any limit <coughs> so in VBA it will be useful for you okay now let's know about the troubleshooting of excel or some customization of excel we have office tab office, office button here now just give me one second so we have this office button under office button we have excel options which version of excel you are using hello 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 bill So we were talking about that how to customize the Excel. Okay. So there is an office button. Just click on that. We have Excel option here. Can you see? Yeah. So when we press Excel option, a dialog box comes here. Which version you are using? I got uh, 2013. Okay. You have 2013. Yes. Uh, so uh, let's take with 2013. Or are you good with uh, this this option also? This 2007 also? Because there is oh, that's right. slight change uh, in the options. Like this added custom list is in advanced tab. This developer tab ribbon is in customized there. So this is there is a slight difference only. And you have general exactly. instead of popular there. Okay. I also got Excel 2010. 2010 and 13 are same. This is 2000. It's okay. So if you want me to change on 2013, no, I no, can. No, no, that's okay. Okay. Oh, this is fine. So should I change on 2013? Um, no, it's it's okay. It's uh, this is you know like this is pretty basic. Yes, 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 yes. That's why we use 2007. So we have popular tab in Excel option. You have a general tab there. So we have show mini toolbar okay. selection. Show mini toolbar. You can see there is a first uh, checkbox here. Show mini toolbar. So what is exactly show a mini toolbar? When we type any text into some cell and when we select it for quick formatting we have this mini toolbar. Most of the time we don't use it, but let's say the one who uses it and does not find it on his Excel, this option may be unchecked. Okay. If this option is unchecked, so if you type any value and select this, you will not find that quick uh, mini toolbar. Okay. 
so there is a setting in excel options and check that another hmm. option we okay. have, like i have selected any area and i want to fill the colors and uh, before selecting the values i'm just moving my mouse it shows me the live preview okay it changes the color it shows me how it will be looked if i apply this formatting so this is called live preview okay let's say your live preview is not working so maybe this option is unchecked okay then we have show developer tab in ribbon see in default excel there is no developer tab for using vba so how hmm. we find in excel options popular we have show developer tab in ribbon we click on that and press okay then we are able to see this developer tab okay in 2013 okay. it is available under customize we go in customize there will be a check box option here in 2013 and 2010 and as you can see my excel is showing you the silver color here you can change the theme also color scheme we have three types of color scheme blue silver black if i choose black and press okay so it will the options will be changed in black in black theme the excel will be changed okay now mm -hmm. let's say i was i was showing you the some of the option with the screen tip and your screen tip is not appearing so there is option for screen tip also screen tip style so there are three types of screen tip style show feature descriptions in screen tip don't show feature description in screen tip don't show screen tips so if you are this option is disturbed you can't see the screen tips also so you can make it correct by here also you are also seeing that i have some arial font here and font size is 12 and the default sheets i have five sheets here okay this is by default if i press control n for new worksheet this option remains same same in your excel it will be like uh, three sheets in before calibri uh, the font the font size will be 11 or 10 like this so this default we can set from excel options like which font i want to use what font size i want to make it default what is the view i want to take like normal view page break view page layout view three types of view are there and how many sheets you want in starting let's say i want two sheets only so i type two here you can add up to 255 sheets as a default when i press okay and when i press control n so you can see there are two sheets okay so you can make it as a default now let's see one thing i am typing one name and dragging it you can see more other name i am typing an product here and dragging it okay we have lot of more product in your computer you can do with january february only january february mm -hmm. sunday monday like this you can use these two one so how it do it's just how it's doing it's just copying the cell referencing there ah uh, so how this value is generating before there is a link yeah. in computer where this information is saved okay so we have to find that 
uh, uh, that storage area where we can put our customized value also like a name list which we frequently use so that we can drag at once and make a data like this so let's go to excel option we have edit custom list here this option is available in 2010 and 2013 under advanced tab in advanced tab you need to go down and you will find that option there edit custom list when you open this edit custom list you have list sunday monday which you can't change from here but we have additional list i have listed in this like some designations some products here some fruits some city names some names like this oh i see okay so it's kind of getting it from there yes so i am just adding the values here like i want to i can delete any existing list any custom list let's say i want to add a new list there like i prepare a b c b c d d g f x y z any of the list i want to use i use this list frequently so how i will i want to import this one to there so i go to custom list edit custom list you can type here also like this and press add button it will be added or you can import the values from this you just click on this select your values click here again import this list will be added here press okay okay when we type any of the values of them then we have functionality to drag that down okay in a sequential manner it will be dragged down like after dgf there is xyz and after that it will just be copying the data okay well, yeah, okay thank you that's interesting so this, to remember all that stuff yes yes so you can use these things for fast data processing now let's move ahead in formulas let us go in formulas in formulas what happen let's say you have applied some formula here i use some formula here okay i have applied formula and typing some doing some changes you can see the immediate changes in formula yeah immediate value it shows me but let's say there is a calculation style how it is do because our workbook calculation are set on automatic if it is on manual then whatever we will do it will not show the changes okay under formula tab we have the same option also as calculation option it is set to manual now so for getting the values we have to press calculate now we have two options here calculate now and calculate sheet so when we choose calculate now it will the formula will be calculated then only by default it is set to automatic okay if it is automatic it will be uh, doing at every change like our rand between formula was doing if it is on manual the formula will not calculate its value okay so we can change the settings from here also automatic to manual manual to automatic okay then we have enable iterative calculations button here 
you may be knowing with circular references in circular references what we do we press equal to let's we want value from down and we want to plus 10 in that then we are referring the same cell here and we ask to plus 10 and the above value so it will create a circular reference like this error okay so the value will not be calculated here mostly scientists use this option this is about referring the same cell so you can enable the iterative calculation here that how many times you want to calculate this uh, references like a loop the value is calling to other and the other value is calling to the same so we can enable iterative calculation and we can choose how many times it should be in loop so I choose there is a 50 times should be iteration so we can see it will not show the error now it will calculate the value as per that okay so we usually don't use this but uh, for a knowledge purpose I am showing you so I am making as it was earlier okay. now you can see we have ABCD in our column yesterday ABCD are column and 1 to 3 are rows there are two mm -hmm. types of referencing in Excel one is absolute one is relative what is absolute referencing that if we type any value here in A1 so I can refer this value with equal to A1 okay and at any other place we can use this A1 so we are using the same reference for both of the values that means absolute means fixed fixed referencing so I was telling you about related reference also so we have in formula we have R1 C1 reference style this R1 C1 means row 1 column 1 which means relative reference when we I select this R1 C1 reference style the ABCD changed into 1 2 3 and here is also 1 2 3 but the formula you can see the reference it is showing me RC minus 5 that means row 0 column minus 5 here it is like this earlier it was A1 here it is row minus 1 column minus 9 for two other places it is the same difference that is called relative reference why it is called relative reference because it relates the source value with this existing uh, existing position let us take the above cell if I have taken reference this that means r1 r minus 1 c0 so that means if I select this cell only the same cell it shows me rc means row 0 column 0 it I am if I move ahead in columns it will show me RC1 if I go more ahead of that RC2 column 2 column 3 column 4 likewise you come in row increasing in row so R1 R2 R3 R4 when you go in minus it will show minus 1 column minus 1 minus 2 if you go upside row minus 1 minus 2 like this this referencing happens okay understood that so we actually anchor them huh? so the um, the um, 7 16 7 it acts in a, as an anchor uh, it, it, yes it's like an anchor it, it's just a different way of referencing it it's everything is relation to that, that. I told you there are two types of referencing okay yeah 
this method this row 1 c uh, row 1 column 1 we use in bba that's how we get the data okay oh okay that's why it's important <laughs> uh, so the method we follow we don't change it to row 1 column 1 but the method we we follow with offset formula is same okay Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, with B VBA, they don't use uh, column A, B, C. They do use one, two, three. Correct, correct. With offset, yes. So. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, when we go go in VBA, I will make it clear. It is uh, for just knowing the uh, customization of Excel. So how where you repair the Excel? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then, if you are, uh, when you type a formula, it shows a list of formulas here. If it is not coming, there is a formula autocomplete. Okay. Like this, we have some options, like error checking, background error checking. You know, when we type some check numbers and we, we want to type zero before any number, so we can direct, we can't directly type these values, because it will convert into number and the zero will be lost okay for making the zero there we use a post of sign and then we type any value so basically it make it as a text and keep the zero with it okay but there is a green error sign here okay and this option also here. So it show you that number is stored as text it is considering as an error that you have stored number as text so it is giving you option that convert to number help on this number ignore error like this so basically this error settings is available under formula error checking so you can change the color of this error and here are the rules when it comes like number formatted as text or preceded by an post office so this rule is activated that's why it is showing error there so it is yeah. error checking settings available under formula okay and let's go to proofing consider one case Under proofing, when we type two types of value, like uh, I am typing book, wrong spelling here, and then in capital letters I am typing the wrong spelling. Okay. So in a spell check, <laughs> when we press F7, we do a spell check. So it is showing me error only of the uh, small case character, small case word only. Okay. It will never show you if we say ignore once. So spell check is complete. It is not considering the upper case as a wrong, wrong word. So where is the setting? Basically here in proofing we have this option ignore words in uppercase if this option is checked it will ignore the uppercase letter and when it is unchecked so you can when you press F7 so it is showing you this replacement option also it is considering uppercase letters also yeah okay okay then we sometimes we have to type like in brackets I am going to type TM and then pressing enter so it is converted into tm sign likewise you type c under brackets it will convert it into copyright r under brackets will be converted into registered symbol so i don't want to convert this uh, thing into symbols so from where i can set these values In proofing, we have autocorrect options because it is the part of autocorrect. Here we have replace text as you type and there is a list of values 
which we which you type and becomes changed okay so this option is activated from here replace text as you type when you uncheck this and press ok so when I am typing tm under bracket it will never change okay because sometimes this option very frustrates us while typing hmm. then there is an advantage of that function also an autocorrect option replace text as you type so you can use your customized thing like bc when you type bc the bill and uh, what is your like chunk c h e u n g c h e u n g that's right and yes like this we can add this okay so when we type pc it will be converted in so you can you oh, oh, nice. <laughs> few words there you can take the dis, uh, advantage from the disadvantage also mm -hmm. okay and one more thing happens when we dealing with hype uh, email IDs and uh, web addresses when we type it it converts into uh, hyperlink you might have seen that uh, let me enable that option first and uh, remember always that when we are you are changing the any of the options just uh, make it as earlier after doing your work because if you forget then you will not never a able to do it you, because mm. if you forget it will create problem okay so when i am type, typing any of the email ids or web, web address it will be converted into these hyperlinks and when we are going to add it this it will click and make an email for that or like this this option so you don't want that when you type any email address and uh, web address it should not be converted into uh, hyperlink so these options are available under proofing autocorrect option and the second tab auto format as you type there is a uh, first option internet and network path with hyperlink okay if you uncheck that mm -hmm. that will not do conversion once it is convert, uh, converted you can't do anything but if you have not converted you can do it like this and you can go and add it again okay no problem actually these are some tricks which will be helpful for you while dealing with Excel ok now let's go yeah, it's, it's nice to know the full power of Excel it, it, like there, a lot of these things I didn't even know existed <laughs> everything you do in Excel it is exist, exist somewhere in Excel only <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, I, I, I was saying, um, you know, like, we, we're just touching on just the tip of the iceberg how powerful this thing is. <laughs> yes, yes. Like, once once we start going to VBA, oh, my God, it's like the, the limits are endless. <laughs> yes, yes. So, we have save option here. In save option, we have some option. Like, say, I want to use save as. I want to save this file and I want to fix a format if you know about VBA uh, a little you know that we save in a different format Excel macro enabled workbook okay that's right yes for, for macros hmm. but I have not changed it it is already there you can see that by default it is selected and the place where is good where it is going to save is desktop in your computers it is like documents and libraries and all that like this 
So from where I can set the default for save as type and this location. Also. When you go to Excel option, save function, you have save file in this format. So you can choose any of the format as a default. Okay. And the default file location you can put here. Okay. There is no browse button. Okay, yeah. If you want to uh, uh, take a place, just go in your like D drive in Excel class. I want to save this file. So I will copy this. Uh, I will click here. So I will have a link. I copy this URL and paste it here. Okay. So when I press F7, it will open that one actually. Okay. Mm, okay. Now let's see one uh, another things associated with this save option. You know when you are do dealing with Excel, it saves your file in every ten minutes. Save auto recover information in every ten minutes. Like if your computer hang and you are working on some Excel file and you reopen it, it shows you the option in your left side of pane that do you want to recover these files like this. So that's that's why because uh, you use this option is checked here. Yeah. Then set the minutes that after what time it should be saved and at what location it should be shaped. Okay. But in 2007, you uh, it deletes the file. It asks you that do you want to recover or delete. There is two options. So most of the times the recover file is deleted after your confirmation. In 2010 and 2013, you have option in file button uh, manage versions. Info manage versions recover unsaved workbooks. In that you can find the unsaved workbook like you are creating some temporary data there uh, for more than 10 minutes and it will be always there. If you have not saved it will be always there in that location. So you can get from there also. Okay if you have not saved. But in 2007 it uh, deletes. Let's suppose uh, you can make it of this option when you are using with very large data in Excel. Like your file is very heavy and when you are opening it is taking too much time and after every 10 minutes it's going to save and it is taking 10 minutes again. So that will be hanged. So you can make it temporary up for any workbook from here. You can choose the open workbook from here and disable auto recover for temporary. Okay. Let's go into advance. Let's see when you press enter your cursor goes down. But some of the times if your options is disturbed, if you go to advance, there is an option after pressing enter move selection. You can choose from where it should go. Sometimes it's set to up and when we press enter it is going upside. Okay. So you can set the direction from advanced tab. Okay. Let's see we, if you are using uh, too much decimal values. So you can use automatically insert a decimal point here. How much decimal points you can choose from here. Like I want to use 10.34. So I directly use 1034. Okay. When I press enter it will automatically insert a decimal point here. Okay. Okay. These things are very small, but if it is an error 
it will be very big and it, it can as well it can solve your any of the task also big task okay i have told you this custom list this custom list works on this dragging option and this black dot is here okay sometimes what happens this black dot goes invisible you don't find this black dot so there is an option in advance enable fill handle and sell drag and drop sometimes it goes off so you will not find any black dot here you are not able to drag the values okay so this thing comes under advance the third option enable fill handle sell drag and drop okay so now you can see it so like this options there are lot of more options related with this in advance just go through that like grid line colors you can change your grid line colors from here so you can check it with yourself these option the important one i have told you okay then customize in excel you can see there is a quick excel access toolbar here upside uh, the near this office button we have quick access toolbar in quick access toolbar we use frequently if you are using too much mouse we use these for uh, just pinning our shortcuts there like i have a added filter here i i can choose any of the thing from here also like uh, i need uh, here paste as values i need okay so from here i can choose it is under home tab it is alphabetically sorted it is under paste so we have paste values we can add it. when we press okay so we have paste as a special such as there is a formula i copy and here i want to paste values i just click on directly i can paste values okay so for using shortcuts and uh, what is the uh, quick access tool but where is it where is it where is it, where is it on on the um, desktop uh, it is on the excel that's right oh right there okay upside and uh, you have kick access toolbar in 2013 here upward the file okay so let's move ahead more than that so we have seen customize how to customize it you can you you can add macros also here let's suppose you may be dealing with xla files which are excel add in files so let's say you have developed a macro and you want to use with another excel files so you can add as an add in and you can find the macros in under this macro okay the available macro will be there likewise i have typed this book a so you can see that i can add that here so i have a button for macro here oh that's uh, that's handy so you can add some macros from your quick access because there is no button <laughs> and then from where we will uh, add add-ins there is an add-in tab in excel addins press go mm -hmm. there are already some addins but if you have to add an excel a file excel addin file you go to browse and choose from your local desktop um, where it is okay to so select the file and press okay it will be there and just click on that press okay it will be the macros will be available in your customize 
tab. Okay. This is okay. Okay. That's how you add add-ins. Then you have trust center. In trust center, there are some settings like message bar. You mostly when you open uh, any macro file that is macro enabled, so it shows you a yellow information bar in uh, uh, below the formula bar. So if it is not appearing, you can set the settings from here that never show information about block content like this. some contents are blocked. So information bar, message bar shows you that. Then you have mm -hmm. macro settings. By default, you want to enable macros or disable. If you have enabled that error message will not be saved. You don't have to do enable macros all the time. You can directly make it as default from here. Then ActiveX content. In your dashboards, there are some buttons or some text boxes. If you, you are not able to work with them, you can choose, you can see these settings, ActiveX settings. Okay. Because they are the ActiveX control. Then you have external content. When you are getting data from outside the Excel, like Access, SQL, any other software. So it should be enabled here also, external content. Uh, without that, the external content will not be accessible. Okay. So these are some settings about Excel, which uh, everybody should know. What about the trusted locations? Yes. Well, how important is that one? Which one? The trusted locations. Trusted ro locations. It's important uh, when you are dealing with outside advanced Excel. No? So everything is important. You must know where to uh, uh, where to set your settings because these settings, if these settings is not enabled, it will show you error all the time. You will not be able to use macros frequently or any okay. other. Okay. So this was the session about advanced paste special and customization and shortcuts. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we will